Hey y'all, how y'all doing? It's your girl Spiritual Sedge. So the reason I really came on here today is because I got an email from one of our subscribers. Her name is Vicky Thompson Manifesto. Okay, that she got that in parentheses, Manifesto. And so she has a company. Let me see. She sent me some things I'm gonna share with you guys because you know we were just talking about on my last video protection. And a lot of you were reaching out telling me that you wanted my bath salts. But here's, I mean, this kit that she done put together, all y'all need to go hit her up. I'm talking about for real. Greetings, spiritual sage. First of all, y'all, this is like surreal, okay? I'm gonna bring it back now. Boom, boom, boom. Greetings, spiritual sage. Thank you so much for the opportunity to express my gratitude. I have never done this before. My gesture speaks to the power that you have and what you do. And, oh, wow, okay, thank you. Um, and how you are truly impacting the lives with your gift. Wishing you and your channel continued success. I hope that you enjoy your gifts. And all that I ask is that you email me when you receive your package. Right, so she told me, she was like, I, I, I just, you've touched me so you know, I, I want to send you something. I'm like, you don't have to do that. And she's like, and I'm not doing this, um, you know, for, how did she say it? For people to go and buy. But that's what I, that's exactly what I want y'all to do. Because, you know, it's one thing for someone to send you something. First of all, them just going out their way and sending you something, it speaks volume. But how? who am I? Y'all know this channel is about self-discovery. Anytime I learn something for myself, I'm passing it on to you. And the things that she has sent me goes hand in hand with what we're going through right now. We're needing protection. So, okay, let me show y'all what she done sent. Thank you so much, Vicky. I'm talking about for real, baby. For real. You definitely got a customer for life over here. So, the first one that I opened up, oh my God, where's the paper? Okay. It's called Protection Manifesto. It contains black obsidian tiger's eye clear quartz white sage and the evil eye charm you need all of these stones i have these stones but they're my other recording station so i can't just get up and get them but she has included i'm talking about when i show y'all this y'all gonna be like that's creative as fuck because when you are when you're manifesting, like we have these stones to put on us when we go to sleep or we have the spiritual bath salts to take baths in. But what about, what do we have to protect us as we're writing down the things that we want to manifest? Look at this, y'all. I'm like, what in the world? I'm talking about this is the most creative thing I have saw. First of all, here are the evil eye charms. See the evil eye? And all of those stones are in this pen the black obsidian the tiger's eye clear quartz white sage all of that is in here is that not the cutest thing ever because if you guys are like me y'all have notebooks everywhere you're constantly writing down your dreams your your creative thoughts you're constantly you should be if you're manifesting you should be scripting uh, and, and what that is is just demanding the universe. You don't say I want. You say I have. I am successful, or I have whatever it is that you're wanting. That's what you write down. And so I really feel like using this to write down your dreams, your thoughts. What better way to protect what you write down? What better way to protect what it is that you're trying to manifest? Oh my God, that is and this little hearts. It's little hearts on the um, evil eye. This is so creative, bro. I'm talking about for real, Vicky. I mean, seriously. That's awesome. And it was wrapped up so pretty. Look at the little box that the pen came in. Y'all know my favorite color is pink. That's why my spiritual sag channel is pink. Pink and blue are my favorite colors. But, I mean, so that's just one thing. This pen, right? Protection Manifesto. Want to use this while you're writing down the things that you want to manifest. Then she got a whole, listen, we got a whole abundance manifesto kit. I'm talking about for real, y'all. Create, be great, and manifest. Oh, my God. Let's open it up, see what come in it. 
And this package so cute. Y'all, please, I'm telling y'all, y'all need this too. I'm going to give y'all her information or try to leave it in the description box. And so y'all can go and get y'all some of this. It's, it's really cute. I try to get in here right quick and see. Okay, it does come with a Palo Santo stick, which was what I had lit right before we started. Palo Santo, first of all, this, this by itself, you like this. It reads negative, negative energy, but it's also been proven, scientifically proven to bring good luck. Which would make sense why she has this in her abundance kit. Oh my God, bro. Let me get the paper out so we can see what this is before I get to digging. Wow. How long, y'all? That's what's up. I'm like, oh my God, my jaw's hurting. Look, ever since I got it out the mail, I just been smiling. You know, I'm a very, very grateful person. You feel me? And that's why I'm like, I can't just keep this to myself and not share this with my channel. Y'all need to go and get, it. look, get this pen. Especially, look. Dang, the light's so bright. Hold on, because I want to do this justice. Okay, she said, her little card, business card, which is so cute. I bet she loved pink, too. Oh, okay, so here's her email. Manifesto, manifesto pen. 1111 at gmail.com www.themanifestoexperience.com I'm going to say that one more time. Her email is manifesto pins 1111 at gmail.com Her website is www.themanifestoexperience.com Okay? Listen, y'all got to do this. So it says, oh my God, it's an energy candle, y'all. Oh my goodness. Yeah, so y'all know I got to light this thing right on up. Oh my gosh, I don't have no freaking lighters here. On our next reading, we would definitely, baby, we would definitely be lighting this up. But it's an abundance energy candle. Okay, so let me tell you, it's 100% soy wax. It comes with eucalyptus and lemongrass essential oils. I bet it smells good. Bay leaves. Bay leaves are good. Listen, for manifesting, you can get a bay leaf, write what you want on there. Baby. So she, she's put the bay leaves in the candle. Oh, my God. Money, ground cinnamon infused with soy wax. Pyrite and green avatrine. Oh, my MG. So she has crystals in here. She has real money in here. She has uh, eucalyptus and lemongrass essential oils in here and bay leaves. That's exactly what you need to manifest. You hear me? All in 100% soy wax candle. So this is an energy abundance manifestation candle. OMG, Ebony, are you serious? This is so not fair. Hold on just for a hot second. And let me see if y'all can see this better. That the light is off. Let me open it. Oh my. Girl, you better stop. Oh my god oh my god y'all it smells so good i can't even describe it lemongrass and eucalyptus it smells so freaking good but it's all you see those stones she has bay leaves stones real money in this candle this is the perfect along with the i already said this was scientifically proven to bring good luck oh my god she she got herself something she really got herself something. I mean, for real, I'm loving this pen and this manifestation candle. Okay, let's turn this light back on and see what we can, we can, uh, ooh, child, what's going on? Got me looking yellow, don't do that. Oh my God, Vicky, thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Y'all, please, 
please go. If you don't get nothing else, you definitely need to get this right here. Like I said, it comes with a Palo Santo stick. You light this up, light this up. I mean, light, I would light both of these up, sage my area, and then I would use my pen to script the things that I want to manifest. And it's totally protected. Nothing negative can get in that field, that energy field. While you got this burning, you done cleared this, the area. Baby, I love that. I can't get over this. I mean, I really cannot get over this. That is so creative. That is so creative. I'm going to show y'all one more time. It's so creative, bro. With the stones inside the freaking pen. Hey, how I do it. Look at that. Ooh, it just, ooh. Let me see how I write. I love pens. Oh, yeah, look at that. Okay, Vicky, baby. Like I said, you got... You got a customer for life. This is amazing. This is well deserved. My money would definitely be coming your way. Absolutely. Absolutely. Wow. It's so cute. She had it packaged so. Oh, she it's something else here, y'all. I'm tripping. I'm definitely tripping. Okay, so y'all don't know. Earlier on, before I started reading tarot, I was doing uh, like kind of like coaching videos or basically just telling what I was going through in my life since I had started this journey. And baby, the only reason I don't have on a hat is because I got these braids in. But anybody that know me know I wear a hat 24-7. And look what she sent, y'all. A hat, but guess what it said? It's the energy for me, baby. <laughs> oh my god i love that it's the energy for me now i gotta turn this light out so y'all can see that this is so freaking cute it's the energy for me i'm talking about for real i got to meet this girl i gotta meet this girl i got to meet her in person we're gonna do a meet and greet real real soon i'm telling y'all when i get to 10k when i get to 10,000, we y'all ready let me see where we at. We real close to 5,000 subscribers. And that happened in a month and a half. Okay, so the Most High is really uh, blessing our channel. This is our channel. This is our channel. It's my fat ass face on here, but this is our channel. This is where we come to get enlightened, to share um, the things that we're going through. And not just the things, not just the bad things, but I want us to be able to share the, the good things that we, we're going through. Okay, milestones, whatever. If you just graduated, somebody commented and told me she just got accepted into med school. She's gonna go be a doctor. I said, baby, that's what's up. For real. That's, and I'm so proud of you, girl. I'm so proud of you. And I let her know that. If in case, just in case ain't nobody told you. Because I'm telling you, a lot of people, they don't want you to better yourself. They they act like they do. But they really don't. So this is our channel, and baby, it's the energy for me. You feel me? I'm talking about I love this whole kit. I love this whole kit. Everything smells so fresh and so clean. I mean, for real. I'm definitely going to be ordering some of them candles. I love it. Thank you so much, Vicky. Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. So, I will be putting her email and all that good stuff in the uh, this description box. I'm telling y'all, go get them candles. If you write a lot at work, whatever it is that you're trying to keep negative energy away from and you writing it down, baby, you need to get this pen. But I'm talking about manifesting, ma manifesting money, whatever it is you want to manifest in your life, you need to have this going. I might do a little session and show y'all how to do it. For real. I really might do that on one of my manifestations. I might just record it for y'all. Just show y'all how I be doing them things. And, and I must say, I mean, I told when I when I when I started this channel, we finna pull some cards. When I started this channel, I told uh, the Most High. I said, "Listen, I got to talk to him like I'm talking to y'all. What the fuck I'm gonna hide for? He, you know what I'm saying? He created me. He know how I am. Okay. I told him I said I don't want I, you know, I want the I don't care if it takes my channel ten years to grow. Why? Because I want the people who are 
on the same level I am spiritually to be guided to this channel. I want this channel to help as many people as it can. And so I'm not on here just so I can get a bunch of subscribers. I want these subscribers to really feel changed once they watch a video or feel like they've been enlightened. And from you guys' comments, it's what keep me going. I ain't even gonna front. I really ain't, I ain't gonna front. Um, I was very, very shy to be on camera, but Spirit just kept on messing with me, kept on messing with me. And so I knew I had to start the channel, but it was like even after I started my channel, I wasn't doing what Spirit wanted me to do. I was talking about some other shit. That's not what Spirit really wanted me to do. This And, and it didn't grow. The only time somebody subscribed when I asked them to or my family. This channel did not take off until I started doing what Spirit wanted me to do. What I tell you all the time, there's reward in being obedient. So I started being obedient, and it just, like I said, in a month and a half, we got almost 5,000 subscribers. For two months, I had 300 subscribers. <laughs> Baby. Okay, all right, Spirit. That was amazing. That really was amazing. I am so grateful. Like I said, you definitely, you got a customer over here, baby. All right, let's go in. Divine Holy Spirit, ancestors of the highest white light. First, let's get you guys an affirmation. Let's see what Spirit got to say today. That's what's up, man. Oh, my God. And also, look at that 10 popping out there like that, baby. I am whole and I accept myself for who I am. I am who I am. I will never be who I'm not. You ain't got time to compete with nobody but your damn self. So spirit is telling, that's the end of it. With these 10s, you don't need to add nothing to it or take nothing away. I got to turn this down. That's it. It don't even go down no more. Baby. Anyway, there's tens on this card. Like I said, you don't need to add nothing to it, take nothing away. You are whole, and you need to accept yourself for who you are. I like that. Baby, let's get a message from your higher self. Let me see these over there right there. I can't wait to take these braids down so I can rock that hat. Because it's the energy for me, baby. <laughs> you feel me? I love that. Y'all see me with it on. I love hat. I'm my forehead too big. They be walking around here just letting that shit hang out. Mm -mm. Girl, I have a hat on even when I'm in the damn house. I do. All right, let's see. Divine Holy Spirit. Ancestors of the highest white light. What messages do you have for my collective's higher self? Messages do you have for the highest? Judgment. Ugh. It's purple. Y'all know what purple means. You guys are very intuitive. But it says, I understand that everyone has their own unique paths and challenges. Ooh. Judgment does not always have to be bad. It's karma. Judgment is karma. And so it's whatever you've been putting out there. Okay? So for some of y'all, it might be bad. Depending on what y'all have been putting out there now. Let's get one of these things from Kipper and see what Kipper was talking about. What's that? Gift. I did just receive a gift, didn't I? <laughs> Let's see, Divine Holy Spirit. Let's get, we're going to switch it around today. Let's get three from Kipper and one from the souls, from the oracle. Baby, baby. I got the feeling. Baby, baby, I got the feeling. Occupation, courtship, and the main male. This definitely has something to do with your stability. Uh, we're going to clarify that occupation, see what's going on. Let's get one from Flexible. Main male, occupation, and courtship. Okay, 
got some conflict. Okay. I just heard that. I just heard it's some chaos conflict going on at the job. But so for some of y'all, it's chaos conflict going on at the job. And for some of y'all, it's chaos and conflict going on with this main male. So let's see. But that, that uh, at the job was loud. It was loud. Let's clarify this stuff and see what's going on. Okay. Okay. Mm -mm. King of Pentacles, Page of Cups, Ten of Wands, Six of Cups, Five of Cups. So let's put this up here so I can. This Six of Cups, which is the past life person, past life soulmate, that's this main male. This Six of Cups is this main male. But this main male is going through it. He's going through it. He, all oh, Okay, thank you, Spirit. This main male is having chaos and conflict at their occupation. Okay? This King of Pentacles is this also this main male. He's carrying some kind of burden. He's wanting to come in and apologize for something. We are going to go in and try to clarify, see what's going on. But uh, this person's in regret. I want to see what this past life person is. This, okay, I, Spirit said this whole energy, all this right here right now is about this main male. They're having problems at their job judgment i heard it's because they messed up this courtship this courtship i feel like it was divinely orchestrated it was divinely ordered and this person messed it up and that's why they haven't judged that's why they having bad karma yeah this person's having problem with their job Ooh, child spirit how you gonna put something in there like after we just got out of goodness and that may okay you that may be why you need to protect yourself this person's not in good energy they see you manifesting. Thank you, Spirit. They see you manifesting and they having issues at their occupation. Be why? Because they messed up this courtship. This person didn't do what they were supposed to do with this relationship. Okay? Uh, I'm talking about this main male who is this past life person who's also, he either still is the King of Pentacles or he was the King of Pentacles. I'm feeling like he was the king of pentacles. I'm feeling like he did have a lot. Or, you know, his money was good. But right now he having some, some problems at the job. And he know he messed up this courtship. And that's that's the burden that he carrying around. I, we haven't clarified it yet, but that's just what I'm feeling. That's the burden that this person's carrying around. And that's why they want to come in and apologize with this page of cups. But they are in regret. So let's see what's going on. I messed up the yeah the course shit was divine i'm feeling like it was divinely orchestrated and this person did not they they weren't listening to their intuition they were not being obedient i tell y'all there's reward of being obedient y'all gonna hear me say that to the end of this channel because it's true this person wasn't being obedient this person thought because they were the king of pentacles that they would always be the king of pentacles no 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 baby this person's getting karma like a motherfucker it's coming down on them. chaos and conflict at the fucking job. They might lose it. They might lose it. But this person understands why they're going through what they're going through. They understand. They're not just in regret for no reason. This person understands why they're going through this. And they know that they, because when spirit whoop your ass, he don't do so without telling you why you're getting your ass whooped. This person knows exactly why. Why they going through what they going through. Because they played with a courtship that was divinely orchestrated. Spirit say, I made this for you. You don't get to tell me that what you don't want. Okay, if you don't want it, you do have free will. But if you don't want it, you're going to wish you did. You're going to wish you had a took it when I get through with you. Okay, Spirit, let's see what's going on. Mm hmm Judgment out here again. 
with the Hierophant. I just heard with the Hierophant, this person is very traditional. Uh, this person does not believe the way you believe. I just heard that with the Hierophant. But judgment is out here twice. I'm talking about this person finna go through it. If they ain't already going through it. I feel like they're going through it. They got the Ten of Wands, the Five of Cups, a lot of burdens that this person is carrying around. But they know they didn't do the right thing. They know you was you was a Hierophant for them. You was something special to this person. And they didn't treat it like that. They didn't treat it like that. They didn't do right with this courtship. No. We had, y'all could be dealing with a Virgo. Okay, but we have the Hermit out here with the uh, Ace of Wands. This talks about a passionate, brand new beginning. Um, and this talks about somebody going within to find the truth. Uh, Self-discovery, like I spoke about earlier. This channel's about self-discovery. But that's what the Virgo does. I mean, the Hermit does. It goes within to find the light and the truth. Give me something on this. Because I'm not really... Spirit, I know that this person messed up this courtship, but they're not telling me how they messed up the courtship. I know they didn't do the right thing, but I'm saying, like, I want some details. If I hold the Spirit, give me some details on what happened with this courtship. Okay, so this person didn't, there was no reciprocity. Um, this person could have been given to you and someone else. I just really feel like this person didn't give to the connection like they should have with this Six of Pentacles. They was giving very little. Okay, so for some of y'all, there was a third-party situation. But for all of y'all, they wasn't giving what they should have to this connection. And that's why this judgment. That's why they going through this judgment. Because this was something that was divinely orchestrated. This person thought that they was the fucking king of pentacles, and they could have been. Uh, they ain't going to stay that way. When spirit get through with them. Let me stop, because I'm talking about child person. But they will have learned a lesson. Something that they don't want to repeat no more. Trust me. Spirit don't play no games. Now they watching your ass. And I did say earlier that this person sees that you're manifesting, and they occupation fucked up. That's why you need to be protecting yourself. That's why you need to go and get y'all one of these manifestation candles. Which comes with a Palo Santo stick. And protect whatever it is that you're trying to manifest when you write it down. I love this pen, y'all. But yeah, you're going to need to protect yourself. This person watching you, they see that you're manifesting. And their life is probably being turned upside down. Yeah, and this person's in deep regret wanting to come in and apologize. And I'm feeling like some of you are not going to take this person back. And that's what's going to turn this regret into like anger. Okay, it's, this person gonna get mad, mad, big mad. You will need to protect yourself, your energetic feet. They may not physically do anything, but it doesn't keep them from wishing bad stuff on you, trying to send negative energy your way. The, em the emperor, we already said that main male, the king of pentacles, this, this, this that emperor. It's your divine counterpart. I said that this connection was divinely orchestrated and this person didn't do what right by it didn't get to the connection like they should have and that's why judgment is out here twice mm -hmm. what's that yeah now they're evaluating things they're thinking about the things that they put into the relationship was which, which wasn't much they probably bring them the chaos and conflict right but they're looking at what they put in, and they, they know they didn't put in nothing. And they that's why they feel like you're going to walk away from them, because they didn't give you shit. But chaos and conflict. Mental and, and, and heartache. Mental pain, heartache, bullshit. They didn't put what they, with this Six of Pentacles, this person did not give to the connection like they should have. This person could have been running in and out, giving you very fucking little. They didn't do what was right. Spirit don't like that. You can, I said this in another video. You cannot play with divine connections. There's going to be some repercussions. I mean, you can play with them all day long. Just be ready to take the repercussions because we have a choice to choose what it is that we want to do. You don't have a choice to choose the consequences that are coming from the choice that you made. Did you hear what I said? 
because I don't want to repeat it. I might start stuttering, but it's very true. We have free will. This person exercised their free will and they wanted to fuck over the connection, a divine connection. So Spirit said, okay, I'm going to exercise my right to whoop your ass. <laughs> Let me stop, because y'all person going through it. Judgment out here twice. But that's what Spirit said. Spirit said, I'm going to exercise my right, my right to whoop your ass. I bet you won't do that no more. And that's what they did, yep. But look what's up under. This is what they, okay, let me just go and pull it out there like that. Ooh, chat, okay. I saw the two of Pentacles, which I already said that for some of y'all that was juggling. Ugh. This is what spirit was trying to get this person. A divine connection. This two of cups talks about a soulmate. Got the emperor out here. You already got the six of cups, which talks about a past life. This person was supposed to be your husband. This is supposed to be a, a, past, a, a, a lifetime partner. Because the king of pentacles talks about a husband. This talks about a past life soulmate. This two of cups, that talks about a damn soulmate. And the emperor. This is the divine masculine. All of this is up under this freaking main, this main male. So this is what this person was supposed to be for you. Twin flame supposed to be in, uh, twin. Uh, I'm not gonna say twin flame. I'm gonna say this was a divine counterpart. Okay, this is supposed to be in a life partner, and they fucked it over. They fucked over the damn connection. They had other options. So like I said, they juggled you with something else. Something else or someone else. Whatever the fuck it was, they didn't give you the attention that they needed. This person sees you being victorious. Look, I just said they're going to see y'all manifesting. And, and when they come back and you turn their ass away, it's going to... This motherfucker going to get mad. I'm talking about big mad. That's when you're going to need to protect yourself. But look, they see y'all in y'all Queen of Wands energy. I always tell y'all, the Queen of Wands is a what? A sexy manifester. I tell y'all that all the time. They see you being victorious with the Six of Wands and your Queen, uh, queen of Wands energy. Being sexy, manifesting, people looking up to you, people watching you, checking you out. They see all that shit, <laughs> baby. And they feel left out in the cold. The person feel left out in the cold and quite naturally they want, that, they want this cycle to be over. They want that shit to be over with. But yeah, they're watching you with this page of swords. This person wants a brand new beginning. They see you over here manifesting like hell. They in deep regret because they chose to uh, not give to the connection. I don't know what the hell that was standing in that damn cone. Look, we ain't got that to do. I'm the only one down here. Both my kids upstairs. Look, I got to be the scariest motherfucker you know. Because if, if I see some shit again, my skin going to be here. But my soul going to be there. got the hell on. Because I'm getting the fuck up out of here. For real. So, anyway. Um, that shit caught me out. Go on some of that thing was just standing there. You know how you see shit out the corner of your eye? Baby. Yeah, this person sees you being successful. See you manifesting. See you being sexy. It's undeniable. When you see a queen of wands, that's you have to stop and pay attention. Because the, the energy that what she say, it's the energy for me, baby. The energy that comes off the queen of wands is like, damn, that's a bad motherfucker right there. You feel me? And then you manifesting, shit's coming to you easy. You know, if this person sees all that, they almost like, why is shit going good for them? Uh, and my life is messed up. And then they're going to try to come back in. Some of y'all are going to be like, hell no. And so, um, they're going to get big, big, big mad. Yeah, they, they feel like you're going to be defensive. Like I just said, they're going to try to come back in. Some of y'all going to be like, no. And this person knows this. This person knows you're going to be, for some of y'all, they know you're going to be defensive. But that's not going to keep this person from not coming in. It's like this person cannot even move on to the next cycle in their life i'm not gonna say they can't move on to the next person no they can't move on to the next cycle in their life they will keep repeating whatever it is they're going through they're gonna keep repeating it they can't it's like 
they they need to come back and try to make either make the shit right, give you some closure, something before they can move on to the next cycle in their life. You already moving on, boo. Yeah. Okay, now spirit talking to me. This is what they was, not the ones. That's you know, that's good and each card has good to it, each card has bad to it. So on the good side, this is good. You know, flirty energy, keeping it light. This is not good when you're doing this shit on a divine connection. He tried to dig that down. He or she tried to play your ass, end up playing their damn self. Can you imagine? Can you imagine this King of Pentacles, this Emperor, thought they was the shit and tried to play you and end up playing themselves and you cutting their ass off. You cutting the bullshit out. I'm not saying you you won't take this person back, but you're not gonna deal with that bullshit. You ain't dealing with that shit. You know your word. What well, what we said at the beginning. I am whole and I accept myself for who I am. With that 10, I don't need to add nothing to it or take nothing away from it. It is what it is. I already said you don't have time to be in competition with nobody but your damn self. So whoever was that was over there juggling you with, baby, you already know it wasn't even worth it. That's why this nigga can't even hold his damn head up. He looking at you like, damn. I already said the Queen of Wands is undeniable. Anybody, I don't care what sign you are, anybody can jump off in this Queen of this fire energy, that passionate energy. Any sign can jump off in that. So just because you ain't no fire sign don't mean that anybody can get off in that energy. Shit, that's the best energy. <laughs> Baby. But yeah, they see your ass over here being victorious and whatever it is that you're doing. They feel like whatever you put your hand on, it just turned into gold. I mean, that's judgment. You done fucked around and fucked up a damn divine connection. Just like spirit is whipping your ass for not being obedient, spirit is going to bless this person for being obedient. This y'all are this person, this queen of wands. Your partner is this emperor, this main male that was doing the most. So let's see. Yeah, yeah. I feel like this person is heartbroken. I feel like you guys are still, some of you guys are still hurt, but, you know, for the most part, you guys are working through this heartbreak, but I feel like this is fresh, and I feel like it's this person's heartbreak now. Yo, cause they the one they regret. You got, look, your energy is right here. That's your energy. Being victim, no. Okay, ain't nothing done by accident. So some of y'all might be out there flirting. What I said was good, it's good and bad to every car. This is keeping it light out here flirting, right? And I picked it up like this, so that's what Spirit wanted me to tell y'all. But like I said, y'all was out here being victorious. Some of y'all out here flirting with any and everybody, baby. Because when you see a motherfucker like this, it's undeniable. You have to stop and pay attention to that. Y'all see people staring at y'all more. Don't sit here and lie. People be Y'all could just, it don't matter what y'all got on. It's the, the, the aura, the light. That's why folks be staring. You be like, girl, he... Gave me his number and I ain't even comb my hair today. Don't be going outside without combing your damn hair. But I'm saying you could pull somebody like that because the energy, the, the light that's within you is shining. It's undeniable, baby. And they see it. So, some of y'all out there flirting with that night of ones. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Baby. Look, man, I seen a white boy today with some dreads. What? <laughs> Ooh. I said, mm -mm -mm. let me stop telling y'all my business. So. Y'all know my son is mixed. My ex husband, white as hell. So I don't have no problem with it. The one I seen today, man, he could get it, baby, like for real. He was sexy as hell, talking shit. I was like, boy, you better get my. Anyway, the lovers. Now they want look. That's what they want to pull thing. This person gonna try everything. When they come back to you, this is what they gonna be telling you. 
You that divine counterpart. This was meant to be. All that old bullshit that you was telling them in the beginning. They ain't want to hear. Because they was too busy being the Knight of Wands. You know what I'm saying? Thinking they the King of Pentacles. Thinking they going to always be the King of Pentacles. They knew. I feel like this person always knew who you was. I feel like this person had a deep knowing of who you was. And they chose, because I said, I said, this person chose not to listen to their intuition about you. <laughs> y'all, look, y'all got this person all in their damn head. Y'all could be dealing with an air sign. I got air in my chart. I stay in my head till it's time to get uh, passionate, baby. Ooh. But yeah, this person all in their head. I told you they were going to be telling you everything. How you they person. You they empress. The empress came out. Your emperor out there. They going to come in and tell you all that because they want to celebrate with you, baby. They might need you to buy them a meal because this person about to go through it. He might really need you to buy him two chicken nuggets, a half french fry, and a medium coat because they really going through it with this job, this occupation. Judgment. Judgment ain't got nothing to do with you. You didn't do it. They did it. Their actions caused these judgment cards to fall out here twice. Spirit say, okay. Spirit, you whoop your ass. I bet you sit your hot ass down now. Want to run in and out. Run away from those ass whooping. And I'm going to chase you, Spirit. You know how your mom used to chase you? <laughs> Let me stop talking about this man or this girl. But they done got that ass toe up. They ain't sit down for about a week. <laughs> this person didn't sit down for about a week. That ass was burning, boy. You hear me? <laughs> okay. Now, you the queen of wands. We've got the emperor out here with the empress. You the queen of wands. Now he want to show up like this. But all this talks about in this reading, is someone taking action. Like we already said, that fire energy is it's passion, action. That's all this person is doing, taking action to you. Oh, okay. They want to make love to you. I heard that. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I'm through with my twin flame, y'all. I said I'm just going to leave it alone. Yeah, I sure did. I walked the fuck away from him. But uh, some of y'all gonna walk away from him. When this person come in telling y'all all that ooey gooey shit that y'all was trying to tell them in the beginning, y'all still gonna walk the fuck away. And that is what's gonna get this person mad. That's the whole reason y'all need to go and get this. Protect yourself, man. For real, though. I ain't even bullshit. When y'all walk away from this person, they gonna get 38 hot. Have you ever been 38 hot? But this what this person gonna be 38 high mad as fuck and they're gonna be thinking like i said they may not do nothing to you guys physically but they're gonna be sending that negative energy towards you that's why you're gonna need to protect your energetic field they're gonna be thinking about you being with other people oh because they i said they want to make love to you when you walk away from them, you don't give them none they know you human, you getting it from some damn well. They, <laughs> they gonna be thinking about y'all giving they stuff away, babe, That divine stuff. This motherfucker gonna be mad as hell. <laughs> they gonna be mad as, ooh, we got the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. This is how this, they, this how they view you. They feel like you don't wanna work on this with them anymore. You're headed towards your own Ten of Cups by yourself. By yourself. Oh, dang. Yeah, I said by yourself. That was at the bottom of the deck. The Nine of Cups. <laughs> Shit. I don't know what the hell going on. I mean, it can't be nothing bad because I done protected this, this house, baby. So whoever sent this shit spiritual say anyway, guess what? I sent it right back at your ass. You feel me? I ain't got them games to play. I don't know what it was. Something over there in that damn corner. Yep, something over there in that corner. I, 
I saw the hangman is up. It's showing up right in Aw, oh, Tinker Butt. Now you want to come in and give. That's all he got to give. I already said you're going to have to buy his ass some chicken nuggets. He ain't got shit. He can't do nothing but come from a pure space. Because that's all he got left. It's sad. People have to be laid flat on their ass before they can be authentic. I made a video the other day. I said the hardest thing to do is be your authentic self, but it's the best feeling in the fucking world. This person going to feel like a whole bunch of burdens have been lifted off of them. Once, Whether you take them back or not, once they get this energy out, just letting you know who you are, finally come to grips with, because I feel like this person didn't want to believe that they loved you. For some of y'all, they did not want to believe that they not loved you, but was in love with you. And that was the whole reason they felt like they could do this. To prove to themselves. Y'all knew. Y'all knew this person cared about you. But this person was doing this shit to try to prove it to themselves that they didn't love you. And so, this person has definitely been carrying a burden around the whole fucking time. The burden of them being in love with you. You got the fucking emperor and the empress. The king of wands, queen of wands. Before any of that shit came out, I said this person fucked up a divine counter shit, a counterpart, whatever the fuck. It was divinely orchestrated and they fucked it up. They knew they loved you. When you're dealing with twin flames, the, the ego, the flesh does all kind of crazy shit. But there's a soul to soul instant recognition. Both of y'all knew. Both of y'all higher selves knew. So when this person is finally able to say this right here, they're going to feel like burdens, bunch of burdens been lifted off of them. Because they've been carrying it around for however long y'all been dealing with each other. The hangman's in reverse. They know who the hell you are and what they want. They ain't going to stop. This person ain't going to stop just by you saying you don't want them no more. Because it's divinely orchestrated. What's for you will always find you. Does that mean you have to take this person back in this cycle? No. But what's for you? Well, find your ass. And they not just going to give up easy. Mm -mm. They already get mad when they think about somebody laying next to your sex ass. Better protect yourself. Because this person, when they angry like that, they working through their lower self. The lower self ain't got no limits, no boundaries, no nothing. They just do whatever the fuck they want to do. That's probably who I keep seeing over there in the damn corner. His lower self. He come over here, I'm going to chop his ass down some more. He better get the hell on. Fuck around and blow some damn sage in his, Blow some sage in his face. <laughs> Y'all, I'm a fool for real. But I'm dead ass serious. <coughs> Baby, I ain't got time for that shit. Ooh, child. That tower hit. That's the spiritual ass whoop. I said you have to, some people have to file flat on their ass before they just surrender to the love that they have always had for your ass. And that's a towel. Mm, mm, mm. Ain't no way. Y'all go look up that song. Aretha Franklin, ain't no way. Stop trying to be someone you know you're not. Y'all go look that song up. It's it's the it's the twin flame situation. I will say that. She said, if you need me to love you, just say you do, bro. I told you. This person's gonna release so many burdens when they just come out and say that they need your love. Say you do. Oh, that's my shit. Now I'm gonna go listen to it when I cut out, get in my feelings for just a few minutes. Just a few minutes. Now, this person will be, wait, will be waiting for you to make a decision. Like I said on uh, the other video, I feel like some of you guys are focused on your stability. I did say that with that four. I said this is about stability. I feel like you guys are focusing on your stability. And this person is waiting for you to make a decision. To be with them. <laughs> yep. Let's get some... Um... So... Somebody got all in my comments talking about, we don't want him or her. We want somebody new. Then go get somebody new. You don't have to get with this person. Spirit is telling you that's what the fuck is coming up. You don't have to get with this person. You, you have free will too. Will you get your ass whooped if you don't do it? I don't know. I don't know. But I know they got their ass whooped. These ain't the cards I want. 
pulling up. Mending's at the bottom of the deck. This person want to fix this shit. Y'all can't see nothing. This person want to fix it. story time to go who is that time to go for spirit you can't just tell us it's time to go and you ain't saying who is it time for us feminines to go or the, the masculine time for who to go spirit who? i don't like that time to go oh be single time to go be single right now you are wish fulfillment. That is what it said. I am whole and I accept myself for who I am. I ask spirit who is time for this single person. It's time for you to go and be single, bro. For this cycle. This person needs to do some work. They ain't done the work. They're going to come in and tell you that. They're going to come in and tell you how you they partner. Or you they divine counterpart. This, that, and third. You know, all the shit that you was trying to tell them that's gonna try to run that shit on you, but they see you headed towards the Ten of Cups by yourself. They know the Eight of Pentacles was in reverse. You ain't you ain't working on this shit. It's the end of this cycle for you. Going back and forth with this person, you ain't got time for that. But it is your divine counterpart. That main male is definitely your person. Your past life your soulmate. Okay. But they fucked it up. And they only coming in now because they don't have shit. This person's only realizing this shit now because their job is fucking with them. Some of y'all person that already lost their job. Leave it below in the comments. Because some of y'all they already have. You may not know it. But it, it's going to get to you. It's gonna get to you. Somebody, some little bird is gonna put it. May be your intuition, it may be a reader. Somebody gonna put that bird in your ear. You're gonna be like, Oh, now you wanna come back because you need some chicken nuggets and a coke. That crunk juice, baby. Sunny, hell no. I was giving you everything. If you would have just listened to me then, me and you could have been them built the fucking Ten of Pentacles. Or we could have be halfway there. You didn't wanna listen. You play with the divine counterpart. All you was trying to do was exchange gifts with their ass. Gifts, spiritual gifts. Both of y'all are divine counter. Both of y'all are spiritual. Everybody's a spiritual being here having a human experience. But when the Most High God put people together, that, that twin flame, that ooh, child. I told you, protect yourself, bro. When you turn that person away, Spirit just said it was time for you to go and be single for this cycle. Focus on yourself. Get your stability up. And when you tell that person that you're going to be fucking single, I'm telling y'all, they're going to be fucking 38 hot. I don't know if 38 hot got a meaning in the fucking dictionary, but Ebony said it mean mad as fuck. 38 hot. They're going to be 38 hot on your ass. They're going to be mentally sending you all kind of negative shit. So you need to get these spiritual baths, protect yourself, protect your auric field, your energetic field, community. They watching you. <laughs> this false person, this person was being fake as fuck. They did not want to take, ooh, child, now they concerned. They concerned. They see you finna be a privileged lady. You finna be a privileged lady, right? Um. Uh, with this community and the main female, this this talks about somebody watching somebody. They watching your ass. They should have just been real from the jump. But they couldn't and they didn't. So now they gotta get that ass whooped. It's okay. It's gonna be all right. Um, I love you guys to death. I'm gonna go sage this house because, baby, I ain't got time. Shit be jumping on me at night. I know these um, attacks are real. I don't know if I've ever told you guys or not, but I have, uh, what you call them? People call them sleep paralysis. I don't know what it is. I know I can't move. When the things jump on, I call them things because I can't, I sleep, but I can, it's like my body, my body would be vibrating a little bit. It's like something, it's like something that is attacking me. And 
get on me and I cannot move. Okay. And sometimes I have to wiggle my damn pinky to just get out of it. Y'all, if y'all know what I'm talking about, comment on it below. But um, yeah, I'm finna go sage this house all up and through because I don't need shit trying to come up on me tonight. Because tonight I might fuck around and be punching shit in the air knowing this is damn spirit. I don't know. But I'll be punching. So y'all definitely go and get, listen, y'all need to go hit my girl up. Let me read her information off one more time. She said it's the energy for me. I love this hat. Yes. Where is her email address? Okay. The email address is manifestopens1111 at gmail.com. The website is www.themanifestoexperience.com. Her name is Vicky Thompson slash manifesto. Okay. I love it. I really do. These soy candles, they're freaking awesome. I'm definitely going to be hitting her up and getting me some of those. And like I said, they come with the Palo Santo, which has been scientifically proven to bring in good luck. So, I, this is right on point. This is right on point with this reading. Also, Spirit is letting you know that you're going to need to be protecting yourself from this person because when you turn them away, um, baby, they ain't going to like this shit at all. But nothing beats the devil but the most high God. Just keep that in mind. If this is your story, go ahead and thumbs up the video. Make sure y'all go in the description and get um, Vicky's information. Order. I'm telling y'all, I need to get some of these candles. They smell so fucking good. Okay? Um, to all my old subscribers that keep coming back watching me, I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. I swear I do. Um, and he, mm, if you haven't subscribed and you like the content that I create, Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Click the bell so that you get notified when I upload. And that's it. I got a couple of personal readings to do for tonight. And I'm done. I'm about to lay my ass down. I love y'all. I'll see y'all in a couple days. All right. Bye.